right, our first uh, beach class coming to you from Playa Tamarindo. There's a lot of wind this morning, so uh, we might have some flying sand and flying mats and a little back background noise, but um, we're gonna do a nice energizing uh, good morning to you class. So we're gonna start in child's pose. Go ahead and come onto the knees. Bring the big toes to touch, extend the arms forward. Rest the forehead down on the mat. A nice deep inhale through the nose, full all the way up. Let the belly expand and fall between the legs. And then on the exhale, draw the belly button back toward the spine. A little contraction to the core. And then start to find your ujjayi breath. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. A gentle constriction to the back of the throat, making the breath audible. And before we begin to move, let's just set an intention for our practice today, letting go of the morning, letting go of what comes after class and just being fully present. Staying connected to the breath as we begin to move our body. And take one more breath here. <clears throat> and come all the way up, bring the hips over the knees. Tops of the feet flat to the floor knees are at hip distance apart. We're going to come into puppy pose. Nice stretch for the shoulders. So start to walk the hands forward toward the front of the mat. Keep the hips lifted and then release the forehead toward the floor. Pressing down through the palms of the hands. Last breath here in puppy pose. And then right from puppy pose, we'll come into a twist. So keep that left arm, hips high, left arm right where it is, and slide the right arm underneath the left. Come onto right ear and right shoulder. Take one breath here. And switch sides, extend the right arm long. Left arm underneath right. Come onto left shoulder and left ear. Extend the left arm long, and then come all the way up to tabletop position. Binding our shoulders over our wrists, our hips over our knees. Let's take three cat cows. So inhale, release belly toward the floor, lift through crown of head and tailbone, and then exhale, we'll round, drawing tailbone down toward the floor. Lift and separate the shoulder blades. Look toward navel center with your breath. The inhale brings us to cow, and the exhale rounds us into cat. And we'll do one more round, inhale, cow and exhale coming into cat making our way back toward tabletop position let's take spinal balance so extend that right arm forward left leg back bring right bicep by right ear press back through the ball of the left foot and then draw the belly button toward the spine nice tight core inhale here exhale round elbow to knee like we're coming into cat pose inhale extend Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. And then keep that left leg lifted. Place the left, right hand back on the mat and then take that left foot off to the right. Tuck the toes under. Good, and then start to walk the hands toward the right. So we get a nice side stretch in our left side. And then come all the way back and return to tabletop position. Taking it on the other side, left arm forward, right leg back, square the hips toward the floor, reach from fingertips back through the ball of the foot, inhale here, exhale round, elbow to knee, and then two more, extend, elbow to knee, last time, inhale, and exhale, go ahead and extend back to spinal balance, left hand to the floor, take that right foot to the left, tuck the toes under, and then just walk the hands to the left so you feel a nice stretch through your right side, looking back toward your right toes. And then come all the way back, 
tabletop position and tuck the toes under, lift the hips high, coming into downward facing dog. And start to find movement here in downward facing dog, pedaling the feet, swaying the hips side to side. Pressing firmly through the finger pads. Two more breaths, downward facing dog. Last big inhale here. Exhale, let it go. And then look toward the hands, walk the feet to the front of the mat into ragdoll, take an opposite hand toward opposite elbow, bend the knees, and then start to sway side to side. And come all the way back towards center, release the hands down to the floor, and come up to a flat back. These legs can be bent or straight, just pull the shoulders away from the ears, start to extend through the crown of the head. And on the next exhale, release forward fold. Two more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Last one, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. On the next inhale, with a flat back, reach the arms off to the side, come all the way up, tall mountain. And then encircle the left wrist with the right hand and then side bend to the right. Hold here, tighten up through the core. Take left shoulder in line with left hip. Stay lifted. Exhale one more time, a little bit deeper. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Switch it out. Side bend to the left, right shoulder in line with right hip. Really actively reach through the fingertips. Keep the quads nice and engaged. Lift up out of the core, one more exhale, a little bit deeper. And then inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, cactus the arms, pull the elbows down, lift through the chest, and then inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, come all the way down with a flat back. Halfway lift, monkey pose. Forward fold, exhale. Step back to plank pose, pause here in plank pose. Lift up out of the shoulders. Draw the tailbone down, extend through the crown of the head. Nice tight legs, one more inhale here, and then exhale, shift forward, slowly lower all the way down onto the belly. I'm gonna take inhale, low lift, cobra, so keep those elbows pulled back. Just lift the chest off the floor, reach through the crown of the head, and then exhale, release down. Take the hands back about an inch by the ribs and inhale, medium lift cobra, come all the way up past the belly button if possible, and then exhale, release. And last time, walk the hands back another inch, inhale, press all the way up, nice high cobra, press that chest forward, shoulders down and back, and then exhale, release all the way down to the mat. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under, press up plank, and then back to downward facing dog. Take a couple more breaths here and downward facing dog. Last exhale. And then inhale, look toward the front of the mat, all the way forward, step or float to the front, and forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, rise up, tall mountain. Let's do five rounds of sun salutations. Exhale, right back to forward fold. Just building a little heat in the body here. Inhale, halfway lift, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step back, plank pose. And then on the exhale, lower down, chaturanga, or to the floor. And then take up dog or cobra on the inhale. And back to downward facing dog on the exhale. One more breath. And we'll start picking up the pace a little bit here. So inhale, step or float forward. Exhale, forward fold. Rise high, tall mountain, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Halfway lift, monkey. And chaturanga, exhale, step or float back. Lower halfway or all the way down. Upward facing dog or cobra. 
and back to downward facing dog. One breath. Look forward toward the hands. Inhale, step or float to the front of the mat. Exhale, release, forward fold. Tall mountain, rise up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Halfway lift, monkey. And chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. One breath. Look forward, inhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Tall mountain, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Down dog, exhale. One breath. And two more rounds. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, forward fold. Tall mountain, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Monkey, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Complete the exhale. Last round, inhale, step or float forward. Exhale, forward fold. Tall mountain, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Monkey, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take two more breaths here. On the next inhale, lift that right leg high. Open the hip, bend the leg. And just take a couple circles of the ankle in both directions. And then on the next inhale, straighten out the leg, square off the hips, and exhale, round knee to nose. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, shift forward, come across the body. Inhale, three-legged dog. On the exhale, bring right knee to right elbow. Hold here, okay? Bring that right knee toward the right wrist. Right knee to right elbow and wrist. Elbow and then three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to low lunge. Take that back knee down onto the mat and then lift both arms up overhead. Find arrow mudra above the head and then side bend to the right. Come back through center, side bend to the left. Come back through center. Look up, take a little back bend here and then release the hands down toward the floor. Lift the back knee up and rise up, crescent lunge. Hold here for one breath, really reach through the fingertips but lower the shoulders. And then on the next exhale, bring that left knee down to hover, cactus the arms and lift the chest. Hold here, maybe you lift the gaze off the floor, maybe not. Come all the way back up, inhale. And then twisting lunge, left arm forward, right arm back. Squeeze your inner thighs together as if they're touching. And then come back up to crescent lunge. Sweep that right arm down and all the way back up. Exhale, low lunge. Step back, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts, open the hip, bend the leg. Take a couple circles of the ankle in both directions on this side. And then square off the hips, straighten out that leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Three-legged dog, inhale. We'll take it across the body, left knee toward right elbow. Three-legged dog, inhale. And then bring left knee to left elbow. Hold here, left knee to left wrist. Lift it up and down, back up, and then three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Release the back knee to the floor. Inhale, both arms up overhead for crescent moon. Interlace the fingers, release index finger, and then side bend to the right. 
Side bend to the left, inhale through center, exhale here, inhale back through center, back bend, and then come all the way down. Release the hands to the floor, lift that back knee. Inhale, come up, crescent lunge. Hold here for one breath. Find 90 degrees in that front leg. Draw the tailbone down. And then we're gonna take that right knee, dip it down toward the floor, hover, cactus the arms, maybe lift the gaze, challenging our balance here. Come all the way back up, crescent lunge. Then we're gonna take right arm forward, left arm back. So keeping the shoulders right over the hips, squeeze your inner thighs together. And then left hand comes down. Rise back up, crescent lunge. Exhale, low lunge. Step back, plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog on the exhale. One more breath here. Take that right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, step through, low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge, and then right to twisted lunge. Left arm forward, right arm back, and then that right arm continues to travel down, and we return to crescent lunge, yes. Warrior two on the exhale. Hold here. Draw the tailbone down, sh shoulders away from the ears, shoulders stacked right over those hips. And then continue to draw that right knee toward the right pinky toe. A nice, strong back leg. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. So option for elbow to knee, hand to the floor. Left arm can come straight up, or you can reach that left arm forward for the side stretch. One more breath. Inhale, five-pointed star. Bring both feet out to an angle. Reach through those fingertips. Exhale, bring hands to the heart. Sink down into our squat. Draw the tailbone down and the knees open. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, come up to five-pointed star. Exhale, we'll take moon god. So bring the elbows in, palms face out. Sink back into our squat. Good. And really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, sun god. So palms face up. Arms are straight, sink back into our squat. Hold here. Inhale, come up, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess, palms face in, arms at 90 degrees. Inhale, come up, five-pointed star. Exhale, bring the heels behind the toes. Come down with a flat back, nice and slow. Bring hands towards the ankles. Let's get real active here in the arms. So. Just tighten up through those legs and then start to pull the elbows off to the side, bringing the crown of the head closer to the floor. Release the hands from the ankles. Come up to a halfway lift. Keep that left hand on the floor and reach that right arm up. Keep two hips level. Usually means drawing the right hip down from here and then release. Switch it out, left arm reaches up. Draw that left hip down in line with the right. And release. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Step back, plank pose. Lower chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Okay, now we're just gonna play with this. We're doing some prep for an arm balance at the end of class. So inhale your right leg high and bring that right knee toward the right elbow again. Good, now we're gonna hold here, take a little superhero chaturanga. So lower your arms, good, yes. And then we'll just take that foot back all the way to up dog. Yeah, good, nice transitions. Back to down dog. All right, left leg high, inhale, and step through, low lunge, exhale. Rise up, crescent lunge, inhale, and warrior two on the other side. Release that right heel down, get nice and low in that front leg, shoulders right over the hips. Nice soft gaze out across the front fingertips. 
Hold here for two more breaths. Last breath. Stay low in the leg, reverse warrior, inhale, and then extended side angle, exhale. Any variation that you'd like, elbow to knee, fingers to the floor, right arm straight up or right arm forward. On the next inhale, come up to five pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. So flow breath to movement. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, moon god. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, sun god. Palms face up. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, goddess. 90 degrees with the arms. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, heels behind the toes. Come all the way down. Inhale, come up to a halfway lift. Take those arms straight out to the side. Get a nice flat back, good. Now bring that left hand toward the floor, right arm up, and then come back through center. Right arm to the floor, left arm up. Good, come back toward center. Extend through the hands, hold here nice and tight through the legs, building a little strength in the back here. Inhale, five point and start, rise all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Step back, plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts, and then left knee toward left elbow. Pause here, look past your hands. Little chaturanga arms here. And then just step that light left foot back, flat to the floor. Up dog, inhale, good. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, airplane lunge. Sweep the arms back. Squeeze shoulder blades together and keep the chest lifted. Good, on our inhale, we're gonna come up to chair pose so the arms will sweep forward. Left leg meets right. Hold here. Get nice and low, weight back in the heels. One more breath. And then inhale, rise all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna take a standing balance pose here. So we're gonna balance first on the left leg. So spread the toes nice and wide. We're gonna come up into staff variation. So just bring that leg to 90 degrees. Toes flex back toward the knee. Good. Hold here. Stay nice and strong in your left leg. So quad is tightly engaged. You can stay here or start to round forward. When we round forward, we're gonna reach either for the calf, the ankle, or interlace the hands underneath the foot. If we're here, start to press the foot into the hands and keep that leg at 90 degrees instead of hiking it up. You can stay here or begin to kick that right leg forward. So any of these variations are great. Just keep working on our balance and keep that left leg nice and tight. We're gonna come out of it, back to 90 degrees, lift the shoulders up and release, excellent. Okay, switching sides. So spread those right toes nice and wide, lift the left leg up 90 degrees and flex those toes back toward the knee. Good, palms face out, fingers face down. You can stay right here, working on our balance, or you can start to round forward. Hands either come to the calf, ankle, or interlace underneath the foot. If we're here, start to press that foot into the hand so you come back to 90 degrees instead of hiking that leg up. And then option to kick forward, send that left leg forward, elbows stay in by the calf. Gaze stays down at the floor. One more breath. and slowly release the same way we came in. Rise up, release, excellent. Inhale, come up to a tall mountain. And exhale, come all the way down, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. 
and back to down dog exhale all right we'll take that on the other side so left leg lifts step through low lunge rise up crescent lunge airplane lunge on the exhale so sweep the arms back squeeze those shoulder blades together keep the chest lifted and then look forward past your foot inhale chair pose and this time exhale balance chair so sweep the arms back heels lift hold here for three two one inhale chair Ooh. exhale balance chair inhale chair and exhale rise up all right second balancing pose we're going to take dancer pose so standing on the right foot first bring the knees together lift the left foot and then take the hand palm face up to the inside of the foot good draw the knees back together inhale right arm up and then exhale start to kick that foot into the hand continue to lift through the chest and the fingertips a nice steady gaze breath is flowing one more breath and slowly release good switching sides bend that right leg take the foot from the inside palm faces up draw the knees back together left arm lifts and then kick that right foot into the hand as we start to hinge forward but keep that chest lifted and keep that right knee drawing in so it's not flaring off to the side one more breath slowly release good inhale tall mountain exhale forward fold halfway lift inhale chaturanga exhale up dog inhale down dog exhale good go ahead and take a seat take a rest take a child's pose take a drink Go chase after your mat as it blows away into the ocean. <clears throat> I'm not used to saying wipe off the sand as well. <clears throat> All right, we'll do a little bit of core strengthening while we're down here. Let's go ahead and bring the feet out in front. Then come up into boat pose. So lift the feet up, lift the arms, extend them toward the toes. Legs can be bent or straight. Keep that chest nice and lifted. All right, find an arrow mudra. So interlace the fingers, release the index finger. And from here, go ahead and start to extend your legs to the left and reach your arms to the right. Good, so we're gonna get our obliques nice and warmed up for our arm balance at the end of class. Come back through center, extend the legs to the right, reach the arms to the left. Good, come back towards center. Now bring the hands to the heart. Right elbow is gonna come and tap the floor to the right. Come back through center and then tap to the left. Good, and then from here, we'll just go back and forth and you don't need to make contact with the elbow, but just get into a nice twist for five and four and three. <laughs> Last two. And last one on each side. Come back to boat. All right, now we're gonna take a little roll back. Roll forward, come back into boat pose, stabilize here. Roll back. Roll forward, come back into boat pose, and this will be our last one. This time as we roll forward, cross the ankles, and then maybe hop back through Chaturanga. Up dog, on the inhale, let's hold here, stretch out the core, lower those shoulders, lift through the crown of the head, uh, and then back to down dog. Last breath here. All right, inhale that right leg high. 
let's practice this again. Right out, knee, knee to right elbow, and then a little chaturanga here. Bring that right leg back, flip the toes, yes. Up dog, down dog, left side, left leg lifts, left knee, left elbow, little chaturanga here. Left foot back, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Look forward toward the hands, step or float feet to the outside of the hands. Come into Malasana, lower the hips, hands to the heart, lift through the crown of the head, say hello to the doggy, <laughs> our little beach friend. Good, just building a little heat in the hips. We're gonna keep the elbows connected to the knees. We're gonna come up just until our torso is parallel with the floor and then lower back down. Good, so lift and lower. So gaining flexibility and also building strength at the same time. Good, and just two more. Lift and lower, lift and lower. All right, take that right hand to the floor, to the outside of the right foot and sweep that left arm up. Twisting through the spine. And then switch sides. So left hand to the outside of the left foot, right arm reaches up, hold here. Good, and release. And then since we're here, heel toe those feet together. Let's take Bakasana Crow Pose. So hands come to the floor, knees come nice and high on the backs of the arms. Let's start to lift those toes and heels off the floor, working toward straightening the arms as much as possible. And then if you want to practice the jump back to Chaturanga or just release the step back, lower down. Good. Downward facing dog on the exhale. All right, back to our standing flow. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, step through. Inhale, rise up. Crescent, and this time exhale, full airplane pose. So left leg lifts off the floor, arms sweep back. Keep that chest lifted and the two hips level. And then option here to reach the arms forward. Palms face each other, just building strength in the upper back. And then we're gonna sweep those arms back if they're forward and step back at the same time, airplane lunge. Good, inhale, come up to crescent, and then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, and let's balance again. So stepping onto the right foot, come into half moon pose. Stack those hips and shoulders, reach through the fingertips. Nice, strong, steady standing leg. One more breath. And then once again, step back to airplane lunge. So lightly step back, sweep those arms back. Yes, inhale, crescent. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take that left leg high. Inhale, step through, low lunge, exhale. Rise up, crescent lunge, inhale. And full airplane, exhale. As we reach the fingertips back, squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the chest. Strong, steady standing leg, active through the right toes. Option to sweep the arms forward. Hold here. All right, and then step back, airplane lunge. Good, rise up, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior inhale, and let's balance again. Half moon on the left. Float that right leg off the floor. Stack the hips and shoulders. Active through the back toes, reach through the fingertips. One more breath. And then our release is airplane lunge. So you'll start to level those hips, step back lightly, reach back. Good, crescent and low lunge. Step back, plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. All right, so bringing our awareness once again to our obliques, 
Come forward into plank pose. And then we'll just roll to the left. Side plank, lift that right arm up. Option to stack or stagger the feet. Come on to the foot or the knee. Now let's lift that right leg off the left and bring right elbow to touch right knee. So find a nice squeeze. Good. And then extend toward the front of the mat. Yes, good. Squeeze, elbow to knee. Extend. And last time, squeeze, elbow to knee. Extend. Now come back to plank pose. And right knee, right elbow. Chaturanga. You asked for it, Carrie. <laughs> Up, dog, <laughs> inhale. <laughs> Down, dog, exhale. <laughs> All right. Let's take it on the other side. So come forward into plank. Roll to the right. Left arm lifts. Hold here. Lift those hips higher. And then left foot floats off the right. Elbow to knee. Squeeze it in. And then extend left arm forward toward the front of your mat. Squeeze it in. Extend. And last time. Extend. Now roll back to plank. Left knee, left elbow. Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. And back to down dog, exhale. All right. Come down for a quick rest. Quick sip. All right, so we're building up to Ekapada Kundini Asana. We've done all the prep work to get us there. And we can take, um, well, we, we can practice version one and version two. And um, we'll start down dog. All right, so take another breath here. Lift that right leg high. Now come forward, right knee to right elbow. And then three-legged dog again. Right knee, right elbow. Okay, this is our last one. Now bring that right leg high. And this time we come right knee, right elbow. Start to bend the arms. Tuck that left elbow underneath the left hip and then lift the left leg off the floor. Good, and then option to extend that right leg long. Beautiful, good. And then we release three-legged dog. <laughs> That's a doozy. All right, we'll warm up on the other side. So left leg lifts, left knee, left elbow. And again, left knee, left elbow. Just envision yourself floating there. Lift that left leg up, left knee, left elbow. Now tuck that right elbow in, come onto the hip. Yeah, and then lift that leg off the floor. Three-legged dog. And release. So, Carrie, you're so close. I'll tell you how to <laughs> yeah. get a little bit closer. Okay. The key is, is bringing those elbows in so they're actually underneath your hips so you can rest your weight. And so once you're in that position coming forward, you kind of have to shimmy it in and under just adds a little more stability. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Yes. Good. You got a floater. You got a floater. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> All right. And then we'll do um, like a Pada Kundini Asana too. So that's with the twist. Again, we warmed up to get ourselves there. <laughs> So we'll start in, in down dog again. Take another breath. All right, right leg high. Right knee, left elbow, so twist across the body. Yes, right leg high. Right knee, left elbow, twist. And last time, right leg high. Find that twist and then bring that elbow onto the hip, or the hip onto the elbow, I mean. Float that left leg off the floor, and then maybe extend that right arm, right leg long. Yes, good. Good, good, good. Awesome. <laughs> Lick the beach on your way down. All right, and let's try it on the other side. So left leg lifts, 
Left knee, right elbow, twist. Hug it in tight, left leg lifts, twist. Last time, left leg high, twist. And hook that elbow underneath the hip, lift that, those legs off the floor. Release. Good. <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's go ahead, since I know you've been practicing, take an inversion. Okay. Right? Yep, for heads, headstand or handstand. So I'll talk you through headstand and you can take handstand if you'd rather. So just come onto the forearms, interlace the hands, bring the forehead, the crown of the head to the floor and then kind of tuck your hands around the back of your head. Come up into a variation on dolphin, extend those legs long. And then you can lift one leg at a time up or you can tuck the knees and lift them up. Good job, good job, good job. Nice, nice. Yeah, I did on you did it though. A nice way to energize for the day to so yeah. get up side down all right let's go ahead and come down onto the floor and come into um, half lotus twist so extend that right leg forward and bring the left foot to the right hip crease good and then right hand comes to the left knee Left hand comes out behind, or you can reach it around for a bind if you'd like to reach for the toe. Keep this right leg though active, toes facing up, and keep this spine nice and tall, twisting from the base through the crown of the head. One more breath. unwind and we'll switch it out. So extend that left leg long. Take that right foot to the left hip. Left hand comes to right knee. Stack those shoulders. Stay really active in this left leg and then twist from the base of the spine. Looking out over the shoulder. Maybe binding the toe. release. Okay, so we'll take standing um, half lotus now. So go ahead and come up onto your feet. We'll stand on the right leg first. I'm going to bring that left leg into half lotus. So left heel toward left hip. This is too uncomfortable for the legs. You can come into traditional tree pose. If the foot stays, you can Take your hands to heart center. Otherwise, just hold on to the foot with the opposite hand or with, yeah, with the opposite hand. Three more breaths. Last breath here. All right, you can stay here holding standing half lotus, or you can come into toe balance, hinging at the hips, releasing the, for the hands toward the floor. And then you can stay here in the forward fold if this is comfortable, or you can come all the way down, hip to heel, and then you can stay here, or option to take those hands off the floor and then bring them toward the heart. work guys all right come back into the forward fold and very slowly come all the way up 
And then we'll release back to mountain pose. Good, and we'll take it on the other side. So standing on the left foot, right foot comes up into half lotus or tree legs. You can hold the top of the foot with the left hand or you can bring your hands to heart center, either one or both. We'll hold here for five breaths. Continue to draw that tailbone down and get nice and lifted through the chest. Last breath. Continue to hold here, or we can hinge forward at the hips, reaching those fingertips down toward the floor. You can hold here in the forward fold if this is comfortable, or come all the way down into toe balance, bringing the hip toward the heel, walking the hands by the hips, and then maybe lifting them off the floor. And then releasing back to forward fold first. And then coming all the way up. And release mountain pose. Good. Come into tall mountain, lifting both arms up overhead. Swan dive to forward fold. Halfway lift, monkey inhale. Chaturanga exhale. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Lift that right leg high. Bring right knee toward right wrist and come into half pigeon pose. Send that left leg straight out behind, top of the foot flat to the floor. Let's take the spine strengthener first. So taking hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers, pressing the fists down, lifting through the heart, lifting through the chest. And then release the hands, but keep them lifted and then pulse back toward the heel. And release. Last breath here. Come back up onto the hands. Tuck that back toe under. Three-legged dog, inhale. And down dog, exhale. Switch it out. Left leg lifts up. Left knee toward left wrist. All the way down. Extend that back foot flat to the floor. Find a yoga mudra behind the back. Press the fist down and back at a nice chest opener here. We lift through the chest. And then release those hands. Reach the fingertips back toward the heel. Lift a little bit higher and then come all the way down. <laughs> Last breath. <laughs> it wouldn't be right without peepas in the background. Come up onto the hands, tuck the toes under, left leg high, downward facing dog. Good, and then let's make our way onto our back, so just cross over the ankles. Lower all the way down. Bring those heels in toward the hips. And let's come up into bridge pose. So lift the hips up. Hands can interlace under the hips as an option.
Last breath and bridge. And slowly lower down. Extend the left leg long, pull the right knee into the chest. Interlace fingers around the knee. Pull the knee around the ribs and up toward the right shoulder. Flex both toes back toward both knees. Draw those elbows in. And then relax the grip on the knee. Bring it back toward center. Start to extend the right leg up toward the sky. Hands can be behind the thigh or the calf or the ankle. A nice stretch for your hamstring. Keep that left foot on the floor and extended long. And then go ahead and bend that right leg back to 90 degrees and guide it across the body for a twist. Extend that right arm long. Look toward the right. Come back towards center. Hug both knees into the chest. You can hold on to the knees with the hands or you can start to reach opposite hand toward wrist or opposite hand toward opposite elbow. Wherever you're holding on to, start to draw the tailbone down toward the floor. Nice compression for your hips. Really nice detoxifying posture for your intestines. And then keep that left knee pulled in. Extend the right leg long. Hands around the knee, pull the knee around the ribs and up toward the left shoulder. Elbows draw in, both toes flex back toward both knees. Shoulders flat on the mat. Take nice deep belly breaths here, getting all the benefits of this detoxifying posture. And then guide that leg back toward center and extend the left leg up toward the ceiling for a hamstring stretch. You can take hands around the back of the thigh, back of the calf or back of the ankle. Keep extending through the right heel, foot flat on the mat. And then bring that leg back to 90 degrees, guide it across the body for a twist. Look to the left, extend that arm long. Come back towards center, pull the knees back into the chest. Little squeeze and then separate the knees and the feet coming into happy baby pose. You can hold on to the calves, the ankles or the toes. You can rock side to side, massaging out the spine. And hug the knees back in. And anything else you'd like here before Shavasana, go ahead and take it. Otherwise, when you're ready, we'll ex make our way toward Shavasana, extending those legs long, letting the feet fall open, arms rest alongside the body, palms face up. Take a nice deep breath. And then just go, let go of the breath. Let the jaw get soft and the forehead get soft. Let's start to awaken the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, rolling the wrists and the ankles, and working toward a full body stretch. Arms up overhead, and rolling our way onto our side, hugging the knees in toward the chest, cradling the head and the arm. Take this final moment here to acknowledge your practice, to reconnect to your intention, and set an intention for the rest of the day as well. 
And then when you're ready, come all the way up to a seat. Find hands at heart center. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders away from the ears. We'll take one final breath together. So inhale through the nose, fill all the way up. Let it go through the mouth. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. Namaste.